Let's talk about blending modes. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to try and do my best to explain how blending modes work in simple terms and at the end of this video I'll have a demonstration. Let's get started. When you open Krita, you will find the same blending modes in two areas, by the brushes and by the layers. This tutorial today will focus on the layers of blending modes. When we take a closer look, we can see that Krita offers us a nice selection to play with. The first thing you will notice is that there are 15 blending modes that have been ticked as favorites. You will also notice that they are not organized into groups like in Photoshop, for example. They are listed alphabetically. So during this tutorial, I'll organize these 15 blending modes into groups while explaining what each of them does. Blending, by definition, means to mix or combine things together. Simply put, you cannot use a blending mode on a single layer. In order to work when using any of the blending modes present in Krita, you must have at least two layers present. Now let's talk about some basic terms. When blending two layers, the top layer is usually called the source layer or the blend layer when the bottom layer is called the base layer. When you blend the colors between the source and the base layer, you create visual effects. And it is done by combining the brightness, hue, and the saturation of the two layers. So how do blending modes work? Blending modes take into account the colors and brightness of each pixel in each layer and use mathematical formulas to decide how the colors in the two layers should be combined for the final result. Now, obviously, each mode has its own formula. Since this video is packed with a lot of information, I have created a little PDF guide that you can download for free on my website. This guide lists all the blending modes, how they work, and even gives you a few examples of when you can or shouldn't use them. I will put a link in the description box. In this lesson, I am going to blend the top layer, which contains the photograph of New York City, with a base layer which contains the image of an old metal plate. You will notice that I have added three color swatches below the photograph. One that is a true black, one mid-gray, and one that is true white. These will be used as indicators of the changes that occur to the color pixels in the blended image when tested with different blending modes. Now, blending modes are generally categorized into groups. Be aware that not everyone agrees on how to name these groups, at least on the internet. For example, I've seen people classify the saturation blending modes in a color group, while others classified it in a component group. So don't worry, the names I use here don't match with the names you've seen elsewhere. That said, let's get started. The first group is called Darken. In Krita, this group includes Darken, Multiply, and Burn. As the name implies, this group of blending modes will make the blending result darker. So if there is anything you need to remember here is that when using any of these three darkening blending modes, black pixels will largely be present on your resulting image, while white pixels will tend to disappear. Darken. Darken. 
When you apply the darkened blending mode, both layers are evaluated by the software. Only the darkest pixels of the two layers are kept in the resulting image. Now look how the swatches have changed. Here you can see very well that the black pixels are predominant as shown by the black swatch. The white pixels have disappeared, becoming transparent. As for the grey swatch, we can barely see it. Multiply. When you apply the Multiply Blending mode, the software multiplies the base color with the blend color, resulting in darker colors. Same here, the black pixels are predominant, the grey pixels are barely there, and the white pixels are almost transparent. Burn The Burn Blending mode acts just like the Multiply mode, but with a few modifications. The resulting image shows more contrast. You will also notice that the color saturation has been increased, while the light colors are barely there. Now if you look at the swatches, you will notice that they look darker compared to what they looked like earlier under the Multiply mode. The second group is called Lighten. It includes Color Dodge, Lighten, Screen and Addition. As the names imply, this group of blending modes will do the exact opposite of the darkened blending modes. Therefore expect the white pixels to be largely present, while the black pixels will tend to disappear. Color Dodge When you use the Color Dodge Blending mode, colors and tones in the blend layer become lighter. Any contrast is decreased. You will also notice that any highlights that were present in the source image are highly increased. The white pixels are predominant and the black pixels look faded. Lighten When using the Lighten Blending mode, you will see that it only retains the lightest colors in the resulting image. Areas lighter than the blend color don't change. The white pixels are predominant and the black pixels again look faded. Screen The Screen Blending mode acts like the Multiply Blending mode, except that it multiplies the inverse of the blend and the base color. So we end up with a bleaching effect. Again here white is present and the black is almost transparent. Addition As the name implies, the Addition Blending mode adds between the two layers. This results in a very bright image. This mode is so bright that I think it would be the perfect one for you to use if you are trying to create a glow effect on your illustrations. The third group is called Contrast. It includes Overlay and Soft Light. Overlay the Overlay Blending mode is very interesting. It acts like both the Multiply and the Screen modes. It uses a special mathematical formula to multiply the colors that are darker and to screen the colors that are lighter. By doing so, it adds significant contrast in the resulting image and any colors that are in between become transparent. Soft Light the soft light blending mode almost acts like the overlay mode. However, if we compare it to the overlay image from earlier, you will see that the resulting image looks softer. 
The fourth group is called cancellation. It includes divide. Divide. The divide blending mode uses a mathematical formula of percentages. If you look at the resulting picture here, you will see that the dark areas of the photograph look brighter. Looking at the color swatches, you will see now that black is white. The final group is called component. It includes saturation, color, and luminosity. Saturation. When using the saturation blending mode, whatever saturation you have on the blend mode, you will keep and see, or barely see as it is in our case. Since black, gray and white have no saturation, the color swatches disappeared. Color. When using the color blending mode, whatever colors are present in the blend mode, you will keep and see depending on what image you are blending it with. Here we can barely see uh, the colors, uh, but still they kind of appear. Once more, our color swatches have disappeared. Luminosity. When using the luminosity blending mode, whatever luminosity you have on the blend layer, you will keep and see. Our swatches are back, and you will notice that black and white are untouched. Finally, in Krita, we have two remaining blending modes, which actually aren't really blending modes. They include Normal and Erase. Normal. So let's talk about the Normal blending mode. As said earlier, this one is not really a blending mode in the traditional sense. I say this because nothing happens here. There are no mathematical formulas applied to it. There is no interaction between the source layer's colors and the base layer's colors. Arrays. The Arrays mode is not really a blending mode either. Its job is to remove all base color pixels, including those in the background image. Before we go, let me show you very quickly what else you can do after you have applied a blending mode to an image. As you can see here, I have an image of an armor on my base layer, and on the blend layer is an image of a rusty metal plate. I am going to use the overlay blending mode to blend this rusty plate to the armor. Since my two images are included into a group, I can activate the alpha inheritance to create a clipping mask. There are a few things that you can do to this blend layer. You can adjust the opacity of the layer. To adjust the lightness, the saturation and hue, hit Ctrl plus U. To adjust the color balance, hit Ctrl B. And for a final touch, hit Ctrl L and adjust the levels.
So I'll stop here. Obviously, there are many other things that you can do. So make sure to take full advantage of all the tools that Aquila offers. So we are done for today. Again, make sure to download the guide I created for you. I'll see you next time. Until then, have a great week. Au revoir et à bientôt.